Okay, another minute maternity, what do we do about it? Well, unfortunately, there aren't any lab tests or imaging or any hard and fast diagnosis. It's always a clinical diagnosis. You see something happening and then you have to intervene rapidly. You just don't see that. Maybe on autopsy, you can see that it wasn't due to anything else, but that's it. Um, you're going to mind your three Bs. This is important. But first, get help. Call a rapid. Anytime your patient is deteriorating, it is not a solo event. You need a team. So call your rapid. You're going to support breathing. Put a pulse ox on the mom so that you know you have to maintain oxygen um, at or above 95%. So to do that, you're probably going to need a non-rebreather mask at high flow. In the worst case, you're going to need intubation. So that's why you, another reason you want to call the rapid. Um, blood pressure, we need to keep that cardiac output. So a lot of high volume fluid replacement. Um, you're optimizing preload so the heart has something to pump. Um, and you might have to give some vasoactive drugs to increase cardiac output. And you're going to anticipate that DIC that I said always follows this event. Um, so you're going to do all the things you would do for DIC. Make sure you have large bore access and initiate massive transfusion protocol. Um, lastly, if your patient survives this experience, she is going to be traumatized. So are all the people who love her. Um, and if she doesn't survive it, that's even worse. So you're going to provide bereavement support to the family. And that's my references. If you're interested, this podcast is really cool. It's clinical care and obstetrics. And I took a lot of my information from them.